Well, we're at max power as far as the volume's concerned right away. This ball is hit high in the air to right field. Long run for both Stummel and Lankhorst. Lankhorst slides, and he made the catch. Danny Lankhorst with a sliding Great catch, play. and it was a fair ball as well. Yep. A full count on Gary Owens with two outs. The pitch. A line shot to right center field. That ball is going to get down for a base hit. It's cut off by Lankhorst, and he's able to hold Owens to a single. Good play by Danny Lankhorst. Second good play by Danny in the inning. Uh, and Owens took off, and the curveball is in for a strike. Now Owens got is caught down. between first and second. Can he beat the throw? He is in there. Well, Owens was trying to time the move of Koch, and he took about two steps towards second base. Koch, and then, then Koch delivered the ball, and Owens realized he had nowhere to go, so he decided to go to second base anyway when Will, uh, when Roper Hubbard threw to first. Yeah, I think that was a little mistake on the Capitals. It looks like the first baseman may have trouble getting the ball out of his glove. During now a runner in scoring position. Heidenheim trying to draw first blood here in game four. The pitch. A line drive, deep left field, going back Goebel. He turns around. He can't make the catch. It's over his head up against the wall. Scores Owen one. scores, and Goering is at second base, and Heidenheim leads one to nothing. What a, what a great hit. That was all power there, line drive. Straight to the fence. Eddie Stone will just, uh, just a little bit out of his reach. We'll see the replay now. It's hard to see if he caught it or not, live action. And the pitch on the way. That ball is lined, and it is a base hit to the left field past Philip Schultz. So Zach Schmitz, well, he almost stumbled around in first base. Trouble. Owen won the pitch. There's a line drive, base hit to left field, and that's why you don't bunt. Sasha Lutz keeps the ball in front of him, and the runners are now on first and second. Schmitz at second base, Lankhorst at first. The pitch. A fly ball, left field, Sasha Lutz drifting over towards the gap. Can he get there? He dives. He cannot get it. It's a base hit, and one run scores. Here comes Lankhorst. He's going to score. Jan Jakob, a two-run double, and Bond leads 2-1. to one. You know, you just look at the batting averages, and you feel like... Heidenheim's in a pretty good spot with Jakob up there, but then he comes through. Sometimes in these pressure games, the guys you don't expect come through the biggest, and that was a huge two-hit out that scores two runs for the Capitals. Jan Jakob had one double all year in 58 at-bats. Here it comes. A ground ball. This will get the run in. Fielded by Brink. He's got one play to first, and it's in time, but the ball game is tied. The inning. B.J. Roper, Hubbard, the hitter. Goebel, a very short leadoff first. Erasmus set the set, and the pitch. Swung on and missed, and the runner was going, and he's going to be caught in between first and second. Nilsson runs him back to Gruber, and who's going to win the race? Gruber with a dive. He got him. You know, when I saw that swing from BJ, it really surprised me, but I'm guessing maybe they had to hit and run on there. Yeah, for sure. I can't see it anymore. The 2-2. Two -two. That ball is hit in the air to left center field, and it is going to get down into the gap. A base hit. Hurler stopped at first base. Now he's going to head to second base, and he's there with a double. Yeah, I didn't see what he did at first base there. Maybe we'll see it on the replay, but uh, that ball definitely looked like it was going in the gap. What an atmosphere here in Vaughn. This is the way it should be. Yeah, great championship baseball. Tight game. And the 1-1. One -one. He's bunting, and it's a good one. Fielded by Roper Hubbard, the throw to first, not in time. Everybody's safe. First and third. Well, I thought BJ did a great job getting out, out there. He, uh, he, I couldn't tell if he gloved or not. I think he got it with his bare hand, and he spun good footwork. Now, that was a great play by BJ Roper Hubbard, but now Sasha Litz, the veteran, who made his Bundesliga debut the last time the Capitals were in the finals, swings and lines on a base hit in the center field. Perler scores, and the Heidegger for lead by a score of 3-2. to two. Just great opportunistic hitting. Uh, we've seen it for all three of Heidenheim's run. Get a guy on second base, and then someone coming through with a hit to get him home. Here, so. The pitch on the way is low ball four. The bases are loaded. And Gary Owens is coming to the plate. He's got power to all fields. He's homered to the opposite field multiple times. And the pitch. A ground ball to the left side. It is off the glove of Lamb Hunt. He picks it up, throws to first, and his throw is wide. One run is in. Two runs are in. Wilhelm has to go get the ball. They're waving Petsy around. Wilhelm from his knees throws to the plate. It is in time. Petsy is out. But two runs have scored, and Heidenheim leads 5-2. to two.
Yeah, we'll get another look at that. He That's definitely threw, put it to first base in a tough position right there. I think he rushed the throw after bobbling it. Regular season. He might take off here, 1-0. Let's see what happens. And the throw to first, wow. and it gets past Robert Gruber down the line. Lankhorst will score. Brake is on his way to his second base, and he is held up there as Gruber had to go pick the ball out from the right field corner. And that's going to be an E1, an errant pickoff attempt. Erasmus bounced the throw. You know, the other thing that does, now the second run, you don't need an extra base hit. All you need is something out of the infield from Gibble. Exactly. And it's a one-run game. And Brink with good speed at second base. 1-0 the count on Gibble. Here it comes. A line drive up the middle, base hit to it's center field. Brink around third, he's coming to the plate. Owens' his throw is in time. He's out at home plate. What a throw by Gary Owens. You hear about a throw being on a rope. That ball was never six feet high. Watch it here on the replay. He had a running start on it. An absolute missile of a throw on one hop received by Simon Goering. No question, Tim Meyer with a punch out. No argument from Brink, and the inning is over. One ball, one strike, two down, runner at second base. And the pitch to Schmitz. Curveball, line back to Erasmus, and he caught it on the fly, and the inning is over. A little reactionary catch there, right in the gut. That ball was smoked. And here he's got a chance to tie the game. The runners are at second and third with one out. Infield is back. They will trade an out for a run here. Five to three, the Heidecker for leading. The pitch to break. A line right center field. That's going to be caught by Sean Larry. And the runners were not tagging. And now here comes the runner to the plate. The throw is in time. He is out. That's a double play. And it is a huge mistake by Danny Langhorst. He did not tag on the fly ball. And he had to go back after Sean Larry made the catch. Larry made the throw to who reel in at home, and that is a double play to end the inning, and the Height 9 fans are going crazy. And Tim, you called it. That was definitely a mistake base run, and no need for him to even come off the third base there. As soon as it was hit, he should have went back. And uh, actually, I thought it was a great play in the outfield, too, because it looked like that was going to be down for a line drive base hit. And uh, right now, Florian Nehring, I think that they're looking at the dirt on the mound. It's really muddy. Tim Meyer is out there. Frymuth threw a couple of pitches to the backstop on his wind there with what looks like a little bit of extra, you know, dry sand, I guess, that they would put on the mound to try to dry it out. And they are going to, in fact, work on it. And Florian Nehring is, boy, he's going to get himself thrown out of the game. He's going to get himself thrown out of the game. Now Simon Goering runs out. And you know what? Now we're starting to see the benches Temper starting to flare here. Florian Nehring's argument is that both pitchers have been pitching. Yep, somebody's been thrown, and it was Florian Nehring. Yeah. Heidenheim five, Vaughn three. We've had three runners thrown out at home plate in this game. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike three. And after getting the mound fixed up, Clayton Frymuth. Slams the door in the eighth inning. Nothing across the board for the Bond Capitals. Way out in front. You can pretty much do what you want here. He's got that devastating curveball. There's Marius Buck on second base. Philip Schultz is on first. Two down, two strikes to Jones. We're in the ninth inning. Five to three high time. The pitch. Curve. Got him looking, and the inning is over. That was a beautiful pitch. I was kind of worried. A lot of times, Matt will try to overthrow that, and it'll hit it in the dirt a couple of feet prior to home plate. But. Arguing that why should anybody have to work on the mound? We've been dealing with it all game. There's a ground ball to short. The throw to first is in time, one down. Well, the Capitals have really been in control of the game. It's good to see. Three and two, the pitch on the way. A fly ball to shallow center field. Gary Owens racing in. Schultz going out. Schultz with a the catch there, two down. And the Heidekamp are one out away from forcing game. Two down in the ninth. Five to three, Heidenheim leading Bond. One out away from game five. The pitch from Frymuth. A bouncing ball to the left side. The shortstop Schultz fields it. He throws to first. And we are going to game five.
two perfect innings of relief for Clayton Freibuth. Yeah, it's a great game. I think you see the Capitals are coming out to give a hand to the fans that have come out and support them all year. And uh, it was just a great game. Capitals had their chances, but uh, you have to really tip your hat to Heidenheim as they came out. Good game pitching by Rasmus. They followed up with some quick uh, quick runs on the board and kept the pressure on the Capitals all day. And the Heidenheim, excuse me, the, the Bond fans thanking their fans for the last time this year as game five will be played in Heidenheim. The Heidenheim fans, of course, who most, most of whom came here. So it, this ball game had the feel of a home team for both teams. There you see some of the fans from Heidenheim. Just a fantastic atmosphere here in Bonn. The Heidenheim Heidegger for five runs, five hits, one error. The Bonn Capitals, three runs, two errors. We're gonna